Can we all stand for the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Bender. Alton C. Here. Martin. Here. Sellers. Here. Sellers. Here. Bender is absent. All right. The next order of business is approval of minutes for the April 6, 2015 Town Board regular uh, meeting. I need a motion and a second. So moved. I need a second. Second. Motion by Alton C. Second by Sellers. I'm going to take a look at the minutes, please. You guys already yeah, seen it? Like okay. Or actually, I'm like, oh. Okay. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Alrighty. The next order of business is the public hearing on Ordinance T2000, uh, Ordinance 2015-T01, uh, Budget Appropriation Ordinance T2015-T01. Uh, I think we need a motion to we need open a motion, uh -huh. We need a motion in order to open. So moved. Okay. Second. Motion by <laughs> Sellers, second by Alden C. You don't have to get some water, do you? Uh, there's, there's there should be some by the, around the corner by the cooler over there. Ones. Yeah. Baby ones will do. <laughs> okay. We've had, uh, we had a motion and we had a second. Yes. So, there's really, um, we have a format to make a vote on it. Yes. Yes. And then we, we need to publish. say yes or no on that motion to open the meeting. So we need yes from me? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're out unless they're hiding. Mm. Are there like spare coffee cups back there? Hold on. Yes. No, those there. you can use the co coffee cups up there. <clears throat> All right. We have a motion and a second to open the meeting, the public hearing. Mm -hmm. So I guess we need the one all in favor type thing. Okay. Well, we have to. It's okay. No. Not. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. If we have motion and second to open the public hearing. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, public hearing is officially open. All right. So do we then need a motion to pose it then, I guess? Mm -hmm. There's no public here. Okay. We, can, we can't make comments. We oh, I don't public? know. Uh, yeah, I guess What so. comments do you have? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Um, just checking on where we're at with um, uh, dipping into our fund balance. I know we're saving money, but we're still going into fund balance from what I can mm -hmm. can determine. Trustee um, Martin, didn't you meet with um, I did, our CFO but on I the didn't ninth? get that I didn't get that bottom line figure. Okay. Did you uh did she tell you that you could email her any questions before tonight's no. meeting? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think she did. No, I don't recall okay. that. Okay, I do. Um, well, you weren't there. So I was so. right there, standing in the doorway. I do recall it. No, you poked in, tapped me on the shoulder. I'm not going to argue with you. Um, that's what you did. I'm not going to have you tell you. me different. I know what I heard. So here we go. Um, there, since there's no public here, mm -hmm. um, I need a motion to close public hearing because I don't. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. Okay. Public hearing closed. Next item of business is uh, approval of bills payable. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved and second. Motion by obviously second by sellers. Questions. What's the lawsuit summons and second amended? Stewart and Associates. Oh, that is um, a bill for to have um, um, Commonwealth served. Uh, it, when they became part of the lawsuit, that mm -hmm. that was a, I think eighty dollars or something like that, to have them service them, which is required by law. Who is Commonwealth? Commonwealth is the title holder oh. of the, um, the, the the like the insurance carrier. Okay. 
and this Greg Polini bill, because we're still having some more discussions about the Human Services Fund, because something, something doesn't sit well mm -hmm. with that, so we're going to find out a little bit more about that. So that's the one that's all that then dispersed to the community agencies. Are you going to take it away from them? No, it's not. That's not. That's not. That's not the reason why I'm talking to them at all. It's the actual setup. I have. A, I have a question oh, about the actual setup. you're talking about setting up another one. No, I'm talking about the setting up of this one, the Human Services Fund. Oh, to get started mm -hmm. with another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the clarification. No. Any other questions? <coughs> Any more questions on claims and demands? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Martin. Um, aye. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Alton C. Aye. Thank you. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the approval of the budget and appropriation ordinance 2015 T 01. I need a motion and a second. I don't have any type of. So moved. Second. Do we have that? Motion by Alton C. Second by. Yes. Yeah, it's what Sellers. you got last time. You got it last okay. time. Yep. Okay, that's it. Oh, and okay, so on C and so. Yes. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Any questions, Mr. Lincoln? No, what questions do you have? Yeah, I still want to know. But I'll, I'll bring up what I know. Mm -hmm. um, when um, she put the budget together. And we didn't get to this part uh, because she didn't have all the figures. But um, we have fund balances in all of our funds of four hundred seventy-three dollars. That's on the back, okay. But um, if you look at the page on uh, the general town fund, we're still borrowing from our um, reserve funds to meet that budget for the general town fund. Um, the reserves were eighty nine thousand four hundred twenty two. Am I correct on reading that? that? That's not what that means. That's the way she explained it to me. Yeah, yeah, it does mean that. She has to put it in and then she has to take it out because of the way she does her figures at the top. That's what she explained to me. Oh, she explained it to you already. So she what's, what's she the didn't give me the total, but she gave me this part. Mm. I was looking for the total. Okay, then I mean the total of what we took out of the. Well, it would, in order in order to project our budget, what we took out of our total reserves. Now I have that one, <coughs> um, but I didn't have what came out of the total reserve. Mm. I didn't think we took anything out of total reserves. <coughs> I didn't think so either. But I'll talk yeah, a little about it. Looks it looks like. Well, I did some calculations after I met with her, mm -hmm. and I come up with fifty-two thousand. Oh, okay. Well, I'll write that down, then I'll get that clarification for her tomorrow. Fifty-two thousand, and what was your exact total? Fifty-two thousand. Well, I'm not sure because none of these figures are, are. I can I can't pull the figures back to each individual fund. Okay. So, so I only have a general figure. Okay, fifty-two thousand. Okay. Now I know we've saved you know money by not putting in, um, you know, the general assistance. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that was made clear. That was a question I had was mm -hmm. she didn't actually transfer the 100000 in right. because she doesn't do it until she needs it. Right. So now she's projecting 50000 mm -hmm. And again, she uh, won't put it in until they actually need mm -hmm. it in GA. Is this the public hearing? No, that's done. It's over? Yes, ma'am. Um, you get a copy of the ordinance? And the other, I was just looking at the staff. Um, we still have 3.5 staff, correct, in um, our uh, casework. In our casework? Yeah. No, we have one caseworker and a part time caseworker. Then we had a supervisor casework, so we have. Uh, okay, two. so you've got a supervisor, a caseworker, and a half caseworker. Mm -hmm. So that's 3.5. No, that's no. 2.5. Doesn't your, your supervisor doesn't do casework? No, he doesn't. He supervises the caseworkers. That's, 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 that's his job. 
No, he doesn't do case. So you've got two point five staff then, correct? Mm-hmm. As far as my okay, case and work, you've got thirty eight clients. So mm -hmm. what does what's the caseworker caseload? My caseworker caseload. Oh boy. I think the full time caseworker Oh boy, I can't recall off right offhand how many she has, but she has more than the part time. Of course. Right. Well, that makes so, sense. Right. And it does. Uh, so I don't know where we're going with this. But. So, roughly um, one caseworker has about 10 clients, and the other caseworker has about five. So, 10, 20. I mean, you know, what, what does what, it, what what does it matter? Yeah, because we from? used to carry 25. The caseworkers used to carry 25 before you reduced down. Oh, caseworkers carry more than 25? It was before. Yes, yes. yes. We used yeah, to but I'm saying. More. So what does that have to do with the budget? Right. 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 Well, it has to do with the budget that I was just questioning the number of staff. Okay. okay. It just seems to me we have <coughs> with less caseload, we probably wouldn't need the part timer. But I'm saying we don't know what life's going to bring down the. Oh, First oh, of all, <laughs> we have other things that we're planning to do, and that's a day to day operation, right? It was just a question. Okay. okay? It was okay. just a question in terms. Right. You don't keep staff on when you don't need them. I'm using all st staff. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's what I can't understand. They weren't Hold on. even looking at people in six months. Hold on. One second. One second. One second. I'm not understanding it. I'm just okay. Trustee Martin. Yes. I understand your question and your concern. Supervisor. Board member. Okay. Let's let's understand the rules here. Okay. I don't you understand. have you, you don't you, you, you don't have that type of jurisdiction over my day-to-day -day operations approve the budget pay the bills approve the levy those are your main functions okay let's make sure we stand within so those ramifications I don't approve okay. budget then. good okay okay so when we vote right. you vote no okay okay thank you so now madam clerk please call the roll um Alton C. Aye. Bender or oh, she's not here Martin no Sellers Aye. Sellers Aye. The motion passed four to, to one. I'm sorry, three, three to one. Three to one. Okay, so the next <laughs> is the supervisor's report, which is which is me. I'm going to hand out the expenditure of the budget report. Board members. Here's another one. Oops, that's two. Mm-hmm. Here and here he is. One for you. Here we go. There is something else that I would like to get clarified. Um, it was said at our annual town meeting that we've spent over sixty thousand dollars on legal for the building. No, we actually spent thirty-one thousand dollars, three hundred fifty-seven dollars, and. 90 cent. That's how much we've spent. Uh, $31,357.90. That's, that's not what was in the audit. This is what Liz gave me. $31,000. That's for this year. No, that's not. That's for both years. That's what we spent on the building, the building litigation. So could I have the breakout on that? Yeah, you can, yeah, you can come in and uh, Liz will give it to you. Liz. Contact Liz. Why don't you mm -hmm. just send it to me? I, when I nah. come in here, I get backstabbed. So I'm not coming in here. Because when you come in and tell me something. Let it go. All right. I'd like it in writing. Let it go. If I don't get it in writing, I will then go ahead. OK. Why are we arguing so over now? Next. So, but I'd like to know. the next I'm item on the agenda questions. is supervisor is the assessor's report. Mm. 
Madam Assessor, do you have anything to report? I'm sorry. Um, no, I don't. Thank you. Okay. The next item on the agenda is trustees report. Trustees. Yes. Oh, oh sorry. Go ahead. You go ahead. You go first. No, nope, that's all right. You go ahead. I've got Martin down on my notes. Please. Oh. Go. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, my comment is this: is um, in reviewing the budget, and mm -hmm. I reviewed it with Liz thoroughly, mm -hmm. and I think the budget is way over budgeted in terms of administrative costs <laughs> for the service of 38 clients. It's mm -hmm. my comment. Okay. That was it. So you're saying it's over budgeted in the administrative costs? In light of cost? the number, in, in, in the total budget, especially administrative budget, in light of the number of clients. That is over budgeted. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Okay, me. Yes. I watched the website of the town meeting. That was the most ridiculous thing. I am just so embarrassed that, I mean, instead of being proud and being being happy that we're saving uh, the city and, and, and taxpayers' dollars, you're, you're arguing over numbers and, and going back and forth and nitpick. It's ridiculous. We are adults. And this is ridiculous because you see that this administration is doing a great job of getting clients to work, getting, um, uh, bringing down the clients that we have, making people accountable, getting our numbers in order, saving money, do, putting in programs, and you're still arguing. I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get why, what is the, what is the, what you're trying to get? I, I don't understand it. And it's, it's embarrassing. And when people ask me, I tell them, I do not know what's wrong with them because it makes no sense that we act like this at a meeting and, and, and we're doing a great job. People are saying we're doing a great job. People are watching it online saying that we're doing a great job and you're still arguing and, and nitpicking over every little number and it's ridiculous. It's over. The old administration, you're gone. It's done. Let us do what we are what voted in to do and call it a day. This is getting to be ridiculous that I have to come in here and sit here and listen to this every time I come to a meeting. It's ridiculous. It's Let it be done. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Yes, Trustee Martin. As I try to move forward, I get hit with, well, that's, how can you say that when this is what you did before? It seems like I can't ask a question without somebody bringing up the past. I don't bring up the past. Somebody else, when I ask the question, brings up the past. So I just want to make that clarification. Mm -hmm. But you pick at every every line you, and that's what I'm saying. It's it's. I, I don't have a problem with you answer, asking a question. I don't have a problem with that. I just have a problem with it. Just makes me seem that you are just trying to find something that you can say I got them. It's. What? I don't understand. We are a, a, a team and we're working together to make better, we've got better numbers, we've got uh, uh, different clients. Yeah, we had to move from the old building. We had to do it. It was, that's what happened. But let stuff go. We're just, you're steady asking questions, steady nitpicking and just let it go and let's move on. I mean, I don't have a problem with you asking a question, but you ask questions that are, you're trying to find or catch somebody in something. That's what my problem is. I agree yeah. with you, Joy. Yes. All I am concerned about is that the numbers work in terms of what we're doing. Well, and it's taxpayer dollars that we're spending. And if we don't look at the numbers and what we're doing, and we're not doing our job. But, no, but, wait. But, but my thing is, and I hate to bring up the past, but sometimes you got to bring that, yeah, you got to bring up the past because you keep dwelling on it in the future and that's why we bring up the past because if you would have took taken the type of notes and asked the type of questions and been that hard on the previous supervisor you would not be in the we would not be in the predicament that we were in that is the that huh, don't 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 do it because i'm not in the mood for it that's why we bring up the past is because you in the future keep trying to make it look like 
we are doing something wrong. We're not. We're, we, I know me and Kathy are new to this. So we haven't done anything. Patrick's new to it. He's cleaned it up. We've got good numbers. We've got a good clientele. We don't have all that, that uh, people freeloading. So I don't understand. That's why I say I bring up the past because you keep living it in the future. Trust y'all. I trust y'all. Uh, yes. um, can I say one thing? There's no future in the past. I worked in this office for a long time. I saw how things were done. I appreciate how things are being done because it's such a past. change. It's we're moving forward. There's nothing we can do about what happened before. Oh. Uh, yesterday, maybe I didn't do everything just perfect at my job, but I went home and I'll go back to work tomorrow and I'll start over again. Yeah. And that's how I feel about being a trustee. Let's let's make sure that we got all our figures the way they should be, but let's not say, well, it wasn't like this before. Well, believe me, I remember having 40, 50, not even active clients, but just trying to keep track of their applications and their intakes. And it's ridiculous. It almost pushed me over the edge. And so now we're in a new, we're on a new agenda. We're in a new time. Let's be thankful that we have what we have. I know. Thank you. Yes, I will Martin. continue to ask questions because I feel that that is the role of a trustee to ask questions and not to be berated for asking questions, period. Any more comments from the trustees? Thank you very much. Thank you. Next is the public comments. I'm a little scared to get up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not a green spot. No, you're fine. I, um, you're fine. Right uh, fine. I guess I missed the public. Introduce yourself, please. Oh, Sheila Hooper, uh, 403 and 423 West Ringo Street, Freeport, Illinois. Anything else you need to know? Just turn so the camera can see who you are. Sir. <laughs> um, public hearing on the ordinance mm -hmm. uh, has come and gone, yeah. and I didn't get yes. to participate in it. Is there availability of a copy of the budget and appropriation ordinance. I think I called and asked for that. Mm -hmm. yep. And since you've acted on it, it's available now. It should be available, right? Am I right, Clerk Barnes? I have it's it here. Uh, after mm -hmm. the meeting. After the meeting. After we're done, I'll make a copy of it. Uh, well, that would uh, make the assumption that I'd have to stay for your executive session, which would not be my optimum. So, I had called and requested it mm -hmm. one for Marna ahead of time. Are you making a public comment? No, just have a um, oh. And that and the copy of the bills payable. Is that available for the public? <laughs> Since it's already been acted out? Always is after the meeting. But only after the meeting? Well, I'm in the middle of taking minutes. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to get up and get it for you now. I had called ahead of time and requested I'm it. sorry, I have it ready. I'm not going to give it to you until we're done with the meeting. Thank you. Yes. Question, is it possible yes. when we break, because it looks like we're going into executive session, would you have time to pass it? I've on? planned on doing that, Mickey. Before the executive session. I planned on doing that. Well, I, just, I wasn't going to make her sit here and wait until after executive session. Well, just ask for clarification. I think she can ask that, can't she? She's a big girl. All righty. The next item on, on the agenda is executive session to discuss A, the setting price. Uh, the, uh, the setting of a price for sale or lease of real property for the use of the public body, including meetings held for the purpose of discussing whether a particular parcel should be sold as authorized by 5 ILCS 120-2C6 and B, litigation when in action against affecting or on behalf of administrative, of a, m administrative tribunal as authorized by 5 ILCS 120-2C511. In a motion in a second. Policy second by Bender. I would also like ah, 
I would also like, uh, do I need to amend the motion to have it to where the town attorney and the assessor be included in the executive session? Yes, it should be. But you can either have it a separate motion or you can have them ask them to amend it to include that. Which one would be easier? Easier would, ju would just be asking the people to amend the motion. The main, who puts it made it in the second? Because you have not publicly stated it yet, so it, it can be withdrawn or modified before that. Okay. Uh, I agree to that. Okay. Second. Okay. So, motion. so the motion is to go into executive session for the reasons you stated and in executive session to allow the town attorney and the town assessor to be person, to be present. Okay. It was a motion by all well, the seconded second by, by uh, Sellers. Joy Sellers. Okay. Okay, no. so you want to roll call? Yes, I do. All the seat. Aye. Martin. Aye. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Aye. Uh, motion Turn passed, four to zero. Three, yeah, four to zero. Yeah. And we are? Five fifty-six. Okay. Five fifty-six. Okay. It is now six twenty-three by my watch. We have, uh, we have concluded the executive session. There was no motions made. Only discussion is listed on the agenda. We are back in open session. The public is welcome to attend at this time. All right. With that being said, the next order of business is resolution 2015 R-04 resolution to schedule regular town meeting for approval of the sale of the 201 East Exchange Street building. I need a motion and a second, please. So moved, second. Motion by Alden C, second by Sellers. Here are the resolutions. Just total. There you go. No, it's just one. It's just one. There you go. Michael gets so wordy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Thank you. Put it in her folder and I'll make sure that. Or well, should I mail it out to her? Mm, doesn't matter. I can drop it off. Okay. Is she going to be home tomorrow? I don't know. Okay. I'll call. Okay. Mr. Supervisor, you want me to summarize the resolution? Yes, yes please. please. I apologize to everybody. <laughs> yes, please. Get it done. This is, this, is a, today. this is the resolution itself is brief. It's only like four, three pages long, but the attachments are lengthy, and that's what's that's what's taking up the space. This is a resolution which by which you authorize a special township meeting of electors to be held to consider the proposal to purchase the 201 East. Exchange Street building. Okay, copy of the know, final draft of the document is attached to the resolution. Uh, the statute says that a special township election can be held when requested by the town board or by a certain number of uh, citizens. And this could have been discussed on the annual town meeting we just had last week because by statute. The agenda for the annual town meeting is frozen as of March 1st. And we didn't receive the indication from the potential buyer until March 25th or 26th. So it was long after that. So we couldn't do it at the annual meeting. So you're going to have to do it at a special town meeting of electors. And what this is for the purposes is for the electors to consider and to give permi permission for the sale of the 201 East Exchange Street building. Please close the door. Sure. It's supposed to be the doors open. <coughs> and also, that's a, and I'm going to attach a copy of the agreement so you can see it. I know it's, I didn't draft it. Remember, it's Michael's Rudy. I didn't draft this one. Um, so the, um, it shows that, and, it, and that's what would be the sole topic of discussion at the special township meeting. And as we know, the special township meetings have to be at least 14 days, no more than 45 days after the notice is filed. Once you pass this, this will be suffice as the written notice to the town clerk that has to be filed. And it has to be published just like we did for the annual town meeting. So we're going to have to get it in the newspaper. <coughs> And then we will uh, schedule the town meeting as soon as we can after that. I'm hoping it'll be the week of May 4th. Okay. Second. 
So what kind of a motion do you need? Um, just, you know, uh, uh, I think I thought somebody We've already made, got a mm -hmm. motion. Yeah, yeah, a second. A motion just to, to approve, approve this resolution. This resolution. resolution. Oh, so we don't set a date or anything? No, we will we'll have the clerk do that. The clerk's up to date and, you know, it depends on when we can get things in the newspaper and things mm -hmm. like that. So can I just get a time frame? Um, roughly, we're talking then about um, a meeting by Isn't when? May, May 5th, did you say? Well, I, May 5th would be the first possible date, and that's only if we get the pay, get in the paper tomorrow. We're not going to get it in no. the paper. No, right. I don't think yeah. I can get it in tomorrow. No, 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 no. I didn't think you could. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's already. Uh, but, so, oh, and then we're talking right. about the week of, of May 4th. Mm -hmm. So, somewhere uh, probably Wednesday, Thursday of that, of that week. Because I can't do it uh, as we discussed on May 5th. I, I can't. Like I wouldn't six. be able to be here either. And I want to be. Like the 6th or the 7th. Yeah. So you're looking yeah. at 6th or 7th. That's as, our best. As a possibility. That's our best. best. That's our best. Yes. Okay. Hopefully. And that would also mean availability of the location, too. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Probably at the Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau. Farm Bureau. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They that, multiple rooms. Yep, that's going to be the best bet for us. Okay, so um, then uh, tomorrow we'll find a date mm -hmm. when we can get this. We still need to vote on it. Yeah, we still need to vote on it. Right. So. <coughs> so the date's going to be open, but we're just voting on this resolution. Right. Okay. So we need a, There's roll a motion on the floor. Motion on the floor already. Yeah. So, yes, Madam Clerk, you can call the roll. Alden C. Aye. Martin. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Motion passes four to zero. Right. Next item on the agenda is other business to come before the town. Other business? No? Well, I got some. It was made obvious during our April 14th annual time that there are some loyalty issues on this board. And as chair, I feel it's my responsibility to address it. During the any other business to come before the board section of the annual town meeting, Trustee Martin, you revealed where your loyalties lie. They clearly do not lie with the township or with the taxpayer of the city of Freeport. I'm sorry, Claire, no, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that your loyalties you do not lie with the Freeport township or with the taxpayers of Freeport is what I said. No, Trustee Martin, your loyalties lie with the VACSC and with the township's previous administrator. That's where your loyalties lie. I understand. Nothing could have made this more apparent than, than a comment you so proudly and loudly declared. Yes, I voted for it, meaning the 201 East Exchange Street building purchase, and I'd do it again. Amidst all your grandstanding, all your grandiose gesturing that evening, nothing stood out more than those words, yes, I voted for it, and I'd do it again. Those words are now immortalized. They are. Thanks to the wonders of modern technology, Every taxpayer in the city of Freeport with internet access and a computer will be able to hear exactly how you feel about the purchase of the building and the wasting of their hard-earned tax dollars. Hmm? What those words say to, to taxpayers is even though knowing there are all sorts of scrutiny. Here, no, 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 I'm talking. Mm -mm. I like it. Clarification no, I'm talking. Here. I'm talking. I have the floor. I have the floor. I have the floor. I think a point of clarification can be made. I am the chair of the board. I have the floor right now. And, and, I and, am and when I'm finished, trustee. and when I'm finished, you may have your say so. May. Even though you know in the scrutiny surrounding the building purchase, you would still purchase anyway. The overpayment of the hundred twenty five thousand over the appraised price, the VAC not having legal authority to even own real property, the statute, three thirty ILCS forty five, the Military Veteran Assistance Act. That statute clearly gives the county the, the responsibility to, to, to supply the, the, the space and the materials for the, for, for the VAC. <coughs> the litigation that challenges the very process of how the building was purchased, along with the, the, the validity of the co-ownership, not to mention the circumventing of voters of Freeport, denying them their statutory rights per 60 ILCS 1 slash 30 dash 50 of the Township Code, voting for approval or disapproval of the building purchase. Knowing all these things, and yes, and yet you still would have voted yes if you had the opportunity. I guess the old cliche of hindsight being 2020 doesn't register too well. But now the covers have been pulled back, and the taxpayers are finally hear the truth straight from your mouth, not from hearsay, not from the grapevine, not from what he said or she said. It's coming straight from your mouth. 
that given the opportunity, you would do this thing all over again. That came out of your mouth. And if and if you want to dispute it, go right to the website. It's up, and you can and, and, and you can look at it. It's there. I will dispute it because please do. You're, you're not clarifying issues. All parties. It's clear. Were represented by an attorney. All mm -hmm. parties mm -hmm. were represented by an attorney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We looked at building mm -hmm. after building mm -hmm. after building. Mm -hmm. Cheaper buildings mm -hmm. would cost us a lot more money to make it handicap accessible. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of issues with this mm -hmm. building that we purchased that had we know. very positive um, issues. It mm -hmm. was convenient to our clients. It was handicap accessible. It would fit both BAC and um, the township. Mm -hmm. They were working together. Mm -hmm. And what happened afterwards, I cannot explain because oh, okay. they owned half the building. Okay. We owned half the building. It was up to you to renegotiate. Somehow, space. somehow you seem to have missed the part where we overpaid for this building. Somehow you seem to have missed no, the part I'm that you. we couldn't statutorily even own a building with the VAC because it's, it's, it's they're not that they're not a municipality. Fact. But 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 you said that that, but you said at the fact. meeting that all you would do it all over again. Were represented by attorneys. But you said you would vote for it again if given a chance. You said yes, I did, and I do it again. That's what you said. Now that it you know this stuff, all represented by attorneys. but now that you know this stuff, you do it again, right? Here's the point. Here's the point. The point wow. being that other townships have purchased buildings. Yes. But they have not been sued, so they You're still own absolutely their right. Buildings. Other townships have purchased buildings, but not with VACs. Well, so yes, they can own the buildings. Time that we did that. No one's disputing the fact that the township can own a building. The parties involved were represented by no, attorneys. No, no one's disputing that, that the township can own a building. Yes, the township can own a building. Yes, they can. But can they own it in co-ownership with the VAC? Well, that was an issue where other townships have had joint ventures, but they didn't have a huh? partnership. Oh. Our partnership. But they own the building together, right? They, they, well, it's immaterial. One of, I, yeah, I think it is immaterial. Mm -hmm. You know, know, my point is I know it's we did everything in our power okay. at the time it was done. Okay. And I can only go back and say that at mm -hmm. the time it was done, I would do it again. Now, mm -hmm. fast forward to the future. Mm -hmm. Now that we know what we know, of course we would go to the annual town board meeting. Mm -hmm. But you have to understand mm -hmm. that what we did at the time, we did represented by attorneys. Okay. Now, to do this again, mm -hmm. I, I can only say that with all the information that mm -hmm. we now have, you know, we would have to certainly take a different approach. Okay. That's However, at the time, mm -hmm. I would do it again at the time. Mm -hmm. That was my clarification. Okay. I would do it again if we had, if they had the information at that time. Now, fast forward to the future. Mm -hmm. Now we know mm -hmm. that we have to go to the end of town meeting. It's that. still okay. not clear. Right. It's still not clear okay. to me whether or not that partnership was valid or not. Okay. But that the, uh, still is a question of validity that mm -hmm. I you think is unquestioned. You have to go to a town meeting no. in order to... No, our attorneys all looked into that. They did? Yes, they did. They seemed to miss that portion of the statute. Stand the there. Well, okay. they checked with other townships and okay. other townships own buildings. And so okay. that's, I don't know how much further they checked than that, but we knew that other townships own buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't particularly um, like debating with you, Mr. Sellers, no. but I do feel that when you bring these issues up, that I have a right to defend myself. You absolutely do. Thank you. You absolutely have a right to defend yourself. And, 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 and trust me, Martin, I'm glad you did. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm glad you did. Well, you'll, you'll hear that, more from me. That, 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 really, that really opened up that someone didn't do their due diligence and didn't even look at the statutes. We, if, if we'd have known at the time, how could you not know at the time? I mean, the first thing you're supposed to do is look this at the statutes before anything. I think he's made his point, Mr. Phillips. You're right. I've, I've, I've driven that nail home pretty far. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn, please. So moved. I second. Motion by Sellers, second by Aldency. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Meeting adjourned. All right.